Hi you guys, it's me Susie. It's a really hot day out here, so that's why you're seeing me in, in this tank top. I don't usually wear them, but it's really, really hot, and I'm really super tired. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but the enemy has been working overtime on making me work physically overtime in so many different ways. And through it all, we need to stay firm um, with Jesus in our belief in Him and our trust in Him and keep our faith grounded in Him no matter what. Okay, keep focused on Jesus. I got to keep reminding myself this too. We got to stay focused on Jesus. The enemy wants us to lose focus at this time. The enemy wants to distract us at this time. We need to not let that happen. I find it works best when I just look up and I keep my eyes on Jesus, literally hoping to see him up. But you can definitely feel his presence as we look up. When you're looking down, and I, I had a brother on, uh, in Christ actually confirm this in the message he preached a couple of days ago. I'm like, wow, it's got to be the Lord. He wants that message known. He wants us to know to look up not down. When you're looking down, it oppresses you. The devil loves to make you feel oppressed and down in the dumps and look hopeless. Look up. Just really don't give the devil a stronghold with the troubles in your life that you're facing. Don't focus on those things. It is hard. I understand. I do. I understand. But the Lord sees it all and he is with you always. And we are so very close to that point where we want to give up. And we're wondering, ah, is he really going to come? Yes, he is going to come. He promised us he would come. He promised us that we are not. Anything he says is truth. And that's his promise to us. His promise to us is, is everything he says. Um, as my pastor preached today, um, there, God can't do everything. And we're like, what? <laughs> There's one thing he can't do. He can't lie. Okay? His promises are true. But he can do everything else. Anything else. But he cannot lie. That's what the Bible says. So you've got to keep your faith in him. And Jesus is God manifested in the flesh. Jesus is the Son of God. Put your faith in him and him alone. No one else. Nowhere else. No other source. All you need is Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. So that one day when you have to stand before God... Jesus Christ has washed away all your sins as far as the east is from the west so that you will not be ashamed and you will know that you know you're going to heaven when you when, when you, we all have to answer to God okay um, and for those who are um, you know we have to have that answer for that hope that is within us our hope is our blessed hope within us the Lord Jesus Christ we are looking Again, up, looking for that glorious appearing of that great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He is our Lord. He is our Savior. And guess what else He is? He is coming. Don't give up now. Don't focus on your struggles and your problems in this life. Because that's all this life offers you anyway. So forget about all that. Know that you know it's going to be behind you someday, very, very soon. One day soon. Could be today. But... Until that day does actually happen that the Lord takes us home, whether it be through our, our death or through the rapture, we will see Jesus if you don't lose hope in him, if you don't fall back into the world and give in to the devil, okay? Please don't give up on Jesus. Keep your eyes focused upward and, and in your blessed hope. And, and know that he is, he is going to return. And at any moment now, that trumpet is going to sound. And that these troubles of this world will all be behind us. And that this life here is but a vapor. Okay? So, what have we got to worry about? Nothing. No. We should expect that while we're here in this world, we're going to have troubles. That's all this world offers, is troubles. Even though right now it may be offering something wrapped in a pretty package with a pretty bow, spiritually speaking. You know, the devil tempts us through lies and temptations. And we know better, those of us who are grounded in Christ with our faith, anchored in Christ. So don't fall for the devil's temptations that he, you know, sprinkles on your path. Follow that narrow path that you know Jesus is leading you on. 
because he's not going to lure you to look over here or to look over there. He's not going to say, go ahead, it's all right, I'll be waiting for you. No, I mean, he'll be waiting all right, but don't go that way. Don't go that way, and don't go that way. Don't look to the left or the right. Just look straight ahead, and while you're at it, look up because our redemption truly draws nigh. We know that by the days that we're seeing happening. We know that because Jesus told us. When you see all of these things, which are the things we're seeing happening in the world, oh, I don't know why I acknowledge them, but you all know, if you have eyes to see and ears to hear, and you're paying attention, attention as watchmen on the wall or women, these are the days Jesus warned us of to know that our redemption draws near. And that's when we are to look up, okay? and expect Jesus any moment now. So please keep your faith focused where it needs to be in Jesus. If you focus on your troubles, you're gonna be looking to the world, uh, putting your faith in the world to help you with your troubles. And you're gonna be looking to the world for the answers. Ah, I need something to feel better. No, Jesus. Jesus will give you everything you need within you, okay? You can do all things through Christ who gives you strength. The world offers you nothing. This world is not our home. We're just a passing through, okay? So please, just remember one day soon and very soon, it's all gonna be behind us. And it's gonna be in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, that we're out of here. And when we get to heaven, we're gonna look possibly I believe we're gonna look back at our life that once was here and see that it was it was true what God said that this life here is was at that moment but a vapor okay so don't hold on to that silly vapor of this world let it go let it go and don't look back don't look down but look up because Jesus is coming love not the world nor the things of the world for if you love the world and the things of the world and the love of the Father is not in you. So if you don't know Jesus and you're loving this world, it's time for you to surrender everything, your life over to Jesus. Let Jesus in your heart. Repent, that means turn away from the way you're living now and let Jesus change you and wash away all your sins and you will be clean as white as snow and all your sins will be forgiven as far as the east is from the west. If you just repent, call on Jesus okay that's all you got to do first John 1 verse 9 if we confess our sins to Jesus that is he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness and then God will see you and me and all of the brothers and sisters in Christ righteous as righteous sinless saints in his eyes, he will see you as pure and holy and spotless and blameless. But you gotta stay grounded in him. You gotta focus on him, okay? Nothing we can do to be saved, but you wanna focus on Jesus so the devil's not laughing at you and trying to pull you down. And don't let him have that stronghold by doing that. So, yep, every time I think I'm ending this video, I keep going on and on, I'm so sorry. But let's stay focused, stay on that narrow path. And soon and very soon, we will, we will see the king. I, I really think so any moment. All right, I love you guys. Keep looking up for Jesus for real. And don't look down. Just look up. Jesus loves you. And I do too. God bless you. Bye-bye.